Hi, it's Jeff Harrison at MacroMonster.com. Today I'm going to make a multicolored stripe that will follow your mouse around curves, etc. So what I'm going to do is create a square here by holding down Control and dragging out with the rectangle tool. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on that. Then I'm just going to flip copy that over, press the right mouse button, press Control R again, and that gives us our third uh, square. So I'm going to select some colors here. How about red on top and yellow and how maybe green something like that. I'm going to select all of those right click on the no color swatch it gets rid of the outlines. Now on each one I'm going to press control Q and that's going to convert each shape from a rectangle to a curve that looks the same but it's now technically uh, a curve shape and by double clicking on each one I can select the nodes go up to the property bar and choose this option here. And the, What that does is it allows it to flow um, more smoothly when you're drawing curved shapes. I'm going to select all those nodes, press this button again, and same thing on this one. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is just select them all, press Control G to make them into a group, and now if I press the I key or go over to the toolbox, same thing, it's going to bring up our artistic media tool. Now we want to go to the second option in from the left, which is our brush tool. And we can see here, I'm just going to go quickly create some kind of a shape like that. Press Control Z to get rid of that, Control Z, and uh, go back to our shapes here. And now I should be able to see the uh, save icon once I've selected those. So left click on the little diskette there, and I'm just going to call this stripe, like that. So now that's saved on disk. Now if I just simply draw out a curved shape, something like that, you can see that it allows me to draw shapes like this. Now you can create, adjust the thickness of that, by the way, by going up to the property bar. Let's back away on it a bit here. How about one inch wide? All right, so now what's interesting about this is that um, you can apply that to pre-existing shapes. So let's say I just create a, a random rectangle like that and I go up to the corner of it. I'm just going to see if I press con pressing the F10 key which allows me to round the corners. If I press the I key here and I choose that stripe. Let's see if it applies it for me. Oh there we go. I made it work. And by playing with the property bar I can adjust the thickness of that. Good luck.